we're gonna be playing as this guy here. This is uh, Count Eudes, uh, a Derobertine. Um, I actually know very little about him, but thankfully there's a little bit of further text for this guy. Uh, so we're gonna read that as well. Uh, it's gonna be an achievement run, naturally. Uh, I'll just quickly go over the achievements that we're looking for. Uh, the first one, let's actually look for locked ones. There we go. Uh, first one we're looking for will be from rags to riches. I think this is good. Mm, no, it won't be the first one. I guess the first one that we will get is Kings to the Seventh Generation. Stand is Count Eudes, this fella. Um, lead your dynasty to rule the Kingdom of France. Once we have the Kingdom of France, naturally the place we want to go for then is an empire. Uh, and to get an empire, well, that would give us from rags to riches, starting as a count, which he is, uh, lead your line to rule an empire. Fantastic. Uh, so that would be two achievements. And then, you know, we're French. We're a French Catholic. So why not go a bit further than that and then get Franca Cratia? As a French Catholic, hold and completely control the Kingdom of Thessalonica without holding or being vassalized to the Byzantine Empire. So those are the three achievements, really, that I'm looking to get. Um, if we happen to get any other achievements along the way, cool. I don't know which ones we might possibly get. Uh, we might be very lucky and get something like getting a strong hook on the head of faith or we might get lucky and have a lover save me from a murder attempt which is apparently an easy achievement disagree uh we might get unlucky and have a child with um uh, with our sister <laughs> um you know all these kind of things we might get lucky we might get unlucky we'll have to wait and see um yeah so that's the plan at least and how about we just jump in and uh, get to it so if we go to the Great Adventurers, uh, we can see that Count Eudes is one of the recommended characters, which is kind of cool. Uh, it's actually fun. All of these characters, all five of them, actually have achievements um, alongside them. I have the one for Jarl Haston. Um, I don't have this one. This is apparently an easy achievement. I don't have the Rurikid one, and I don't have uh, Mother of All Africa. I will go for this one at some point. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a fun achievement, but don't have that yet either. Um, these guys uh, all have achievements for them. I don't believe Alfred the Great does, though. And then Carolingians, um, isn't this the one where only one Carling can have a kingdom or, or be landed? I feel like that's that's uh, this achievement as well. So, you know, all a lot of the characters in this have achievements. Um, William the Bastard does. Harold does not. I don't know about Malcolm. I don't know about these guys either. Rags to Riches. I know Duchess Matilda does. I know that Duke Vratislav does. Uh, Robert de Horteville does. Don't know about you other than like the anti-reconquista. Emir ya Yahya, um, I guess, does. Petty King Merchad, I guess, you know, own all of Ireland is, is, is one. So I guess that works for you. In Iberia in pieces, uh, there's probably there's probably an achievement here. I just don't know it. But yeah, great adventurers. Let's go with Count Eudes of uh, the, the, the Robertine House. So, uh, the great adventurers. Every dynasty comes from humble beginnings. The climb to power is usually a slow process, each generation moving a few steps up the ladder through carefully planned marriages and ceaseless wars. But these are times of change and great upheaval. With a lot of courage and maybe a little luck, a hero might rise their family name from obscurity to legend. Are you ready to take on the challenge? Um, yes. Yes, yes, I am. In July of 866, the Viking raider Haston slew Eudes' father Robert the Strong. Mere months later, his mother Adelais died giving birth to his brother Robert. The world is cruel and the future might seem uncertain, but these orphan boys are destined to sit on the French throne. Their descendants, the Capets, will rule France for centuries to come. Well, that's, that's the plan. That is the plan. So, I'm going to choose Iron Man. Uh, we're going to change some game rules. Uh, total Exclave Independence. We're also going to get Diplo Range uh, as Restricted. Should help with a little bit of the horrible amounts of Border Gore that you get. And I'm actually going to leave this one to default. And I'm going to have to just do some editing if we come across it. Because I found out that um, the achievement 
for uh, Emperor's New Clothes have an emperor who has no clothes on, funnily enough. Um, if you change change this to never have character nudity, um, there will it won't show obviously because this is off. I thought it would like blur it or or do something like that, but instead it just it just does nothing, does nothing. Like you, you're still clothed, they're just normal, and you won't get the achievement for being a naked emperor. So um, yeah, we're gonna leave that to default and. Edit. Yay. So, I think with all that out of the way, I think we're pretty much good to go. Uh, yeah. Can we navigate the treacherous politics of medieval France and fulfill the destiny of the Barabatine brothers? Yes. I think we can. And we're going to change this to, uh, uh, rags to riches. Not a cloud save. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's do it. Perfect. Also, lovely music to start the campaign with. Right, so this is us. Um, we are the Anjou. We have two whole. No, wait, three. We have three whole um, counties. Um, we are beneath the Duke of Anjou, which has you know us beneath him naturally. Um, it's not too bad, not too bad. If we look at the Duchy's map mode, we don't even own the full extent of Anjou. We might be able to get that. Uh, this is owned by Neustria. So uh, it'd be nice if we could uh, do something about that. Go, go to war with Neustria at some point, perhaps. He has 500 men. We have 400. We, we might be able to do something there. We also have to be very careful because we've got the Count of Montaigu, Haston, who slew my dad. Um, and I guess we are also rivals with him, probably because he slew my dad. He is friends with uh, your, um, Jarl Bjorn Ironside of Upland, uh, so uh, maybe there's going to be some alliance going on there, but it's irrelevant. It's irrelevant to us right now. I'll have to wait and see what he does. Um, because, yeah, no idea right now. So, let's have a look at our character. We are Calm, which is not a bad one. Dread Decay plus 50% is pretty bad, though. Um, not, not, not happy with that one. Uh, Gluttonous is also pretty bad. Losing a bit of stewardship, uh, losing attraction opinion, not great. Uh, and then we've got also Rowdy. We are only 10 years old, so we have not yet got anything uh, extra. This will obviously be changed uh, for a new trait. We might be able to get Gluttonous changed uh, if we're lucky, because I don't know, we've got a few years until we become an adult. And with that in mind, we need to find an educator. We're currently doing a martial education. Um, I would prefer stewardship, but if we are going to go martial, uh, we're actually better off with intrigue at the moment, honestly. Mm, 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 mm. I feel like uh, Intrigue would be better. Well, let's have a look. Let's have a look. We've got claims on Anjou itself. We've got claims on a lot of Neustria. Holy crap, that's nice. That is indeed nice. Um, if we were to be educated, we have a character with good education that could educate us. No, we don't. Um, we could go with a level 3 spy master person or a level 2 military person. Uh, let's see if there are any people in the court that can be hired in with high stats. Um, Madrona has, um, well, if we wanted to be educated in stewardship, you would absolutely be the one to hire. Um, Robert Capet, my brother. Why am I not a Capet? I want to be a Capet. How can I become a capet? Oh, you're my heir. Oh, that's how I become a capet. I don't have any kids. Okay. Okay, I can see this working out. I would like to become the house capet. Because, honestly, that's, that's, that's the way it goes. That is the, um, the future of this dynasty. Like, uh, this... Uh, 
we are the the ancestors to the Capetian dynasty, which owns all of France, and that's where the achievement comes from. So, if I don't have any children and I become Robert Capet, um, that would be good. That would be very good for us. Um, it's interesting. Can I can I create a dynasty? I can't. I can't create a what's it client dynasty? What's it called? I don't even know. Oh, it's interesting though. Cadet branch. Can I join this? Is there any way I can become a capet? Maybe I'll get an event later on. That'd be nice. Um, all right. Well, there's nothing there that I need right this second. Uh, yeah. So, is there anyone that I can hire in that has a good education? Uh, nope. Nope. Uh, level three is the best that I can do. So I guess we will switch to Intrigue Focus. And we are going to be edumacated by this person with level 3 Intrigue, Melisende, my spy master. So send that proposal, very nice. Um, and we've also got a spare steward slot. Hmm. I don't want to reassign either. So I guess I will be hiring somebody in. We are going to hire in Madrona, because she's very good at what she does. Ten ducats only. That seems fine by me. So, uh, if we go back to the court, we can make Madrona steward. Apparently not. Well, that was a waste of ten ducats. Uh, but Madrona can do something else for us, then. She can become my court physician for an extra 10 ducats, which seems reasonable. Now got a court physician, uh, so if we get sick, we would have got an event saying, oh, find a physician, it cost us like 50 to 150 gold. This one cost us 20. So I think this is a reasonable thing to do. Uh, got a few knights, not much we can do about that right now, unless there was somebody to hire. Um, if I look in here, yeah, nope. Nope, that doesn't work out. Uh, family members can get married, my half-sisters. Um, we should probably try and get ourselves some alliances. You've got a claim on the Kingdom of France. Louis the Stammerer. You are the Count of that area. We sort by alliance power. The strongest power we have is Strathclyde. Which is this little kingdom here. He's a petty king. Uh, that's Graz. I believe that's somewhere around here. Yeah, it's right there. Uh, East Anglia is right there. They generally get murdered pretty quickly. Got Cassel, Ansbach, Bourbon. Count Eudes, my uncle. My uncle. Uh, I think that's probably a pretty rough thing. My half-sister with my uncle. Nah, I'm good. Uh, there's Trier. We've got Auvergne. Auvergne's fairly decent. Auvergne would be a good one. And you are of the House Auvergne, so there's no um, no muddling around going on there. Send that proposal. And then Judith, you can also get married. Sort by Alliance Power, and we're going to go with... Someone else in France, I think, would be a good idea. But not someone of my dynasty. Uh, Count Eudes of Beniskin. Where's Beniskayan? Oh, that's there. That's fairly close to us. So yeah, Count Eudes of Benes... Uh, Besancon. Besancon. There we go. Lovely stuff. So my sisters have got married. Excellent. We can negotiate alliances with Anjou, Ulm, and Upper Burgundy. Uh, that seems reasonable. Uh, you are from Ulm. Nope, no, that doesn't seem reasonable. And then my uncle, who is basically my duke. Uh, I actually don't think that's necessary either. I think we're good on that front. Uh, I still would like a steward, but there's no one good for that right now. I guess because we need a male to, to do it. So courtiers, there's no good male courtiers with high stewardship. That's annoying. Ah oh, well, not much we can do about it. 
Now, what I wouldn't mind doing is owning all of the county of Anjou. So, if we were to perhaps... Hang on. There it is. If we were to attack you, that would be the best thing for us. Um, if we were to declare war, I have claims on everything except the region of Anjou. That's annoying. Would it be worth going for individual county claims on here? Probably not. Um, the Duke of Anjou, it'd be nice as well if I was to overthrow you and become the Duke of Anjou. Oh, I don't know. There's lots of potential here. I, I don't know yet. Let's just unpause. I don't think there's much we can do right this second. Um, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Uh, I would love to sway you, but I'm a child, so I can't. Yeah, uh, it seems like this is going to be just someone that is, you know, we're just going to have to wait. As I look upon a young scullery maid walking by, sweaty with labour, but a blush on her cheeks, I'm entranced. What is this feeling? This sexual healing. Uh, this longing. I am heterosexual. Okay. Alright, fair enough. I still don't know if I want... To... Maybe I'll try and marry somebody really old so I don't have kids. Like, that would be... If I get an event that turns me into, into a capet, perfect. If I don't, I kind of want this guy to be my heir. I kind of want him to just, you know, be the one I turn into later. I feel like that'd be better. We can recruit Morris to the court. He's only 10 ducats. Sounds good. Morris, welcome to your new job as my steward. Uh, we could invite claimants, make it a guy with high stewardship to show up. Um, we could have, but they also... Claimants are just awkward sometimes. They're so demanding. So this is oil. I don't really want that area. Um, I do have land in Orléans, though. It might be something that if we eventually need to, we can give that away. Anjou isn't actually that big of an area. But what we might be able to do is, like, for example, in Anjou itself, there's three extra places here that I could build castles. Actually, I need to build a city first, but then two more castles. And then in Salma, uh, I would need to build something else. But yeah, we could build two castles here. Might be able to build a castle here. That's a barony. Oh, there's two baronies there as well in Sable. Be nice if I could get both of them. The feast is loud. Adults are boring and the food is not very good. My guardian seems to be enjoying herself, so I cannot catch her attention to tell her I do not want to be here. So I can gain impatient or shy. Uh, I believe impatient's pretty decent. Yeah, prestige goes up. Learning goes down, though. Shy is just the worst trait of all time, though. You never want to take shy. And it looks like Montaigu is currently... Is he friends with? He's attacking East Francia in his war for the kingdom of East Francia. Oh my. So if this goes badly, we may end up being beneath the Count of Montaigu. Now you've allied Charles the Bold. And now you've got a, a rebellion going on. Nice. Where is your army, though? It doesn't seem to have been hit just yet. I can't see it. Interesting. Yet again, Beaumont is late for a council meeting. This time will not let it pass. When I arrive at Beaumont's chambers, I do not give him the courtesy of knocking. Beaumont is seated by his desk, writing furiously. As I clear my throat, he jumps out of his skin. He quickly stuffs a roll of parchment into his pocket and turns towards me with an uneasy, sorry, an uneasy look in his face. Um, I will come back later and search his chambers in secret. I rummage through his desk, feeling my pulse quickening. Where is that damned piece of parchment? Uh, Yudes, what are you doing here? I turn around to find a drowsy but decidedly indignant Beaumont stumbling out of bed. Seems like the sedative I put in his evening spiced wine did not have the intended effect. So he loses some opinion of me. That's fine, I don't really mind about that. 
Um, that's not a problem at all. Right. So do I get betrothed now or later? Um, what about if I toggle the filter for infertile? I could marry the dead. I didn't know this would show up. She died on the 8th of October. 6th of October. Like, why are these characters still here? Is it like waiting until the monthly tick goes over? Maybe. Sort by the most, the high, highest stewardship um, character uh, and we'll, we'll marry this, we'll, we'll betroth ourselves to this lady right here. Wait, I get, I, I just lose so much prestige. No. I can marry you. I get prestige for that. Yes, I will marry Tutaberg Bossonid of the House of Bossonid. Sounds good to me. As one parent has this trait, it might get inherited. Um, not sure that's how it works. When she can't have the babies. Uh, nice. Some people are into that, don't kink shame. I'm gonna kink shame necrophiliacs. I'm sorry, it's gonna happen. I accept your betrothal. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Lothair. That's very, very, very kind of you. So yeah, we're at war. Actually, is Montagu at war anymore? Oh, he's attacking East Frank. Holy fuck, he's going after this guy. We're West Frankia, so... Hasten is gone for, for the kingdom of East Frankia, which is pretty big. Um, That would be scary. <laughs> That's not really what I would have chosen to do, but you know what? He can just go for it. Absolute Chad move. I spent a lot of time with Robert recently. We've always had fun together, no matter if we play one of our favorite games or just talk. He's two years old. He's also Hale. Oh my god, he's so much he's such a better character than we are. Such a better character. Oh, man. Well, he's now my friend. Cool. It would be nice if I could just choose to play as him. Like, right now. Invite suicide. That would be cool. Um, yeah. So, I don't know if there's much I can do right now other than save money. My piety is going down because I'm gluttonous. Is I lose one a month, which is not great, not gonna lie. My brother and friend Robert is an unusually calm child. When the others play their wild games, Robert often withdraws to some silent corner. He does not speak a lot. Maybe because he's three, but I can always tell that something uh, he's thinking about something. I guess, yeah, a three-year-old would be talking a bit now. Uh, he's going to be pensive. Stewardship and learning, that's not bad. That's a fairly okay trait. There's something odd about my suffragan bishop Guiges, but I cannot quite put my finger on it. Perhaps it's just my imagination running amok. Nevertheless, that ominous feeling is keeping me up at night. Have my spy master investigate? Yeah, sure, why not? 75% chance, roll the dice. Melisende has concluded her investigation of Guige's activities empty-handed. She found no proof of criminal activity or other dark deeds, not even any suspicious rumours. While it seems like I was mistaken this time, it was not time wasted. Tonight, I'll sleep like a babe. He seems innocent. He's probably not, though. After all, he is a Catholic priest. Damn it, this is the first episode. That's going to get demonetized, isn't it? Whoops. Oh, well. Deal with it. Uh, we're also not endorsed by him. because He needs to like me, but there's nothing I can do right now. Um, the Duke of Anjou wants to raise my brother. He will become Bavarian. No. Shove off, uncle. The evil uncle. You bloody, you bloody, you, you bloody wealth. You bleeding wealth. So, actually, who is the leader of the Robertine dynasty? Eudes of Bourbon. The Eudes of Bourbon. So he's not even... 
Oh, you're my half brother. Okay. So my mum had a had a a thing with Count Conrad of Zurich. He died in 862. She remarried uh, my dad. Uh, so she remarried my dad here, Duke Robert. Um, and then he was killed in 866, in July 866, and then you died in childbirth on the 1st of September. That's rough. So she's actually got a fair number of kids. Count Guelph of Ulm, Mrs. Welf, Countess Evesa of Zutphen, Conrad of Savoy, Judith of Besancon, you, me, yeah, and then there's two more. Uh, my brother here and my sister, who is also within my court. Didn't even realize. So yeah, I have a ton of siblings. No wonder this dynasty went on to do great things. There's tons of them. Let's just basically roll the dice. Uh, we're currently in a holy war. Um, that's a pretty early one against the Umayyads. Count Meganhard of Zutphen has accused my sister, Count Evesa, of having an extramarital affair with her lover, Prince Bishop Bertolf. How could she defile the sanctity of her marriage? Eh. It's CK3. It seems to happen quite frequently. Ah, well. She's now pregnant as well. If only it could be uh, a secret. Count Mengenhard has imprisoned Count Evesa. She's a godless absolver. And he's a resentful gentleman. Of course. So he's actually winning. He's actually winning. He's in a battle right now. Um, I believe he won said battle as well. So from battles, he had a battle in Kol and the Battle of, of Weissenberg. So he's around here. So oh, there's Weissenberg. And then Kol should probably be there right there. So he's had a couple of battles, and he's he's won them so far. Uh, Akuta is currently fighting against uh, Poitiers, which is owned by Barcelona. This is why I don't like France. <laughs> it's fucking... Look at the borders, man. It's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Mm, I think my first step needs to be getting a claim on Sable and Maine. I need to own this so I can have the entirety of Anjou and maybe usurp the duchy title from my half-brother. Uh, I mean, he can have this duchy, whatever it is. Anjou should not be his. Um, can't usurp belong to your liege? Of course not. Yeah, I need I need more counties, I need more money, I need to be able to fight him, basically. I'm going to attack him for independence or claims. I've got claims on the duchy already. Hmm. I could become the duke. Uh, I mean, I have allies and he doesn't. I could probably go for this now. Yeah, let's become the early duke. Let's bloody do it. Call my allies to war. Auvergne, hello there. Bessan Kong. Savoie. It's worth the loss of prestige. And we only have levies. I didn't get any men at arms yet, so yeah, let's just raise them up. My allies are cool. So he's going to be raising his armies over here. I mean, I've got a bigger army than him even without... Um, allies. So that's cool. That's good. He does not have a... Oh, no, he does. He does have heavy infantry. So he'd actually probably beat the shit out of me purely because of that. But I'm going to have way, way more people on my team soon. Some Lollards in Nitra. Cool. Good for them. So yeah, we're going to become the early Duke of Anjou. It's gonna set us up pretty nicely. Oh, are they gonna have the early fight? Oh, they're they're going for it. They're trying. Yay! Go, allies! You beautiful. Congratulations! Fantastic. 
And I'm just going to keep sieging. Good stuff so far. Yeah, there's nothing you can do at this point. The war shall be won very soon. Uh, a new marshal is needed. Are you any good at the marshalness? Yeah, you are. So I'll reassign you there, and you can be my steward. You can also help increase the development there, I think, would be a good idea. Uh, train commanders? I don't know if that's necessary. 